So guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't said that in a long time. But today, we're going to be working on this latest project of mine. Um, so, I sorry, I got a job there and um, this was uh, kindly given to me by my boss. <laughs> he had it out the back. He said, if you want the engine off it, you can have it. Or he said, you can sure you could take the whole lot if, you, if it's any good to you. Um, it's just going to be scrapped anyway. Um, so, as you can see, a little Honda engine, 2.5 uh, Japanese engine. Very, very good. It's not seized or anything. Um, first thing I actually done when I pulled it out with the brambles, it was all covered in nettles and everything. It was all covered in briars. Um, pulled it over. Start, turned. It just turned over. Um, so what have I done so far? Well, I've cleaned out the tank. The tank was filthy. Um, let's open the top. You can see, just bearable. I uh, cleaned up a lot. There was a lot of like loose rust and stuff like in it. There is a catchment on the side of it. So if you look here, that's kind of a kind of a, like a second bulb. It's kind of like um filter. It's not a filter. It's inside, but it just catches the dirt before it enters the carburetor. It's very good design. And then there's obviously the switch here for on and off. That's for your petrol. This is for your choke. And then your throttle is down here. And then your ignition is over here. Um, so very very good spark in this. It was about to start because because I, I started spraying um good old D40 into it. Um, lube, I just lube up the piston and lube up anything. If there's any moisture in there, obviously the tank got a full flush out. Cleaned bulb was cleaned. Wasn't actually too bad. Um, these little flaps, these little um that one wasn't seized. This one was seized. So I had to spray D40 in here and then on the inside, um because that works off your governor. So uh. At least that's going where, the way it should. Then obviously then your throttle works alongside that. Um, it needs a new belt, obviously. The belt came off, cut the belt off it. Uh, the belt was rotten. Um, that's the drive. So it just runs off a belt straight to this, straight out. And I know probably the biggest thing is she has no belt. She has no uh, drum. I'm going to see if I can get one uh, drum. I might even get a brand new one if I can. It's just save a lot of messing. Um, I'll see when I get this I just want to see get this engine running first um, so without further ado I'll put a bit of fuel in it okay yeah I'll also check for oil as well you're never supposed to have to do that but anyway um, the engine if it's sitting on the ground it'll just oil come out and um, so I think on this one there's no um, dipstick so it just has to be filled up to the mark there's plenty of oil in it there's a dra that's the drain plug there I will give it an oil change once I know the engine's good. Um, I gave it a good of a sweep out. When I got the tank off, I got a bit of a sweep. I got it up just it's an old brush. It's brushed all that with crap out of the way. Um, I probably will have to give it a more, more thorough clean uh, because it will just start to because everything's been just been insects, there's been spiders, there's been everything growing on this engine. As you can see, if you look at the underneath of it, it's all. You know, so uh, that's the plan anyway. Right, lads, I'll uh, talk to you in a bit, and hopefully, uh, the next clip is a bit starting. So, yeah, uh, I'll pull it out to the orchard, put a bit of fuel in it, and hope for the best. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think it's going to start first time. Hopefully. <laughs> So, so you can hear that guys that she's running, she's in here there, the, the governor doesn't know where to stay, that is because she isn't under load, she said that uh, by right, you know, there should be the barrel there returning and then this should be running the, it should be running the actual mixer itself and that's what actually it's set at, but because it's not under load, because there's no uh, belt, the old belt was rotten off it so I just cut it off, it was, it was worthless anyway, um, self, a new belt. Uh, always hand, hold on to the old belts 
and put a bit of a label on them so you know which one they are and then you can go and get them made or make sure you get the right size uh, there's little adju adjustment bolts on the mountain so this so this can be slid forward or slid back for the tension and she's slid right out so you know I'll slide it back in a little bit and then get get uh, the tension the right tension on the belt over time the belt wears and obviously expands so that's why you that's why it's full length so the belt was useless um so yeah it's great little engine all i needed was a good clean out of the carburetor it was, so the engine's okay now i want to sell these wheels i got them unseized the other day um these have like these little clips on either side and now they're just running on the shaft what i'm just going to do is drill like you can see it just runs on the shaft i'm just going to drill a little hole straight through Put a pin on it instead, uh, just a, a G pin, and uh, hopefully the wheels in. I was going to change them, but they're original, so I'll leave them on it. Um, now handle next. I'll make the next. It's missing its handle, obviously. The handle's uh, missing. Um, I have to get a new filter for the back. I just make an old, uh, old sponge. Um, it will work. Um, the old one was disintegrated. You always check on these old engines that if they have a sponge filter or even any filter for that matter, it could be just it could be disintegrating and in its housing. And then when you go try and start it, it just sucks the, the debris like mush into the carburetor into your engine, and just then you're in another ball game. You have to clean that up as well. So I just took it off, it's going to do it no harm. Um, gonna give it an oil change now. There's a little oil drain plug since the oil is hot, I take that off and put it in. I, thanks for watching guys, uh, this is part one to this uh, little restoration to the cement mixer, at least it'll be hopefully getting myself a skip, or the drum, sorry, on the belt, and making the handle, and then we'll try and give it a go, I, lo I like to mix some cement with it, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next one, so see you again soon, bye for now, cheers guys.